Hey there, Brian Hood here from the sixfigurehomestudio.com. And in this video, we're gonna discuss why a great website is crucial for the success of any modern recording studio business. Even if you're getting all your clients right now off social media, even if you think you're getting all your clients right now via word of mouth, and especially if you're struggling to get clients right now, this video is for you. So let's just get right to it. Why even bother with a website at all? You have things like Instagram pages, a Facebook page. You have things out there like Fiverr and SoundBetter and Air Gigs that are all trying to essentially replace what could be your website. So why even bother with a website in, at all? And it comes down to something that I don't think people put enough stock in, and that is who owns the experience of the user? The user being the person that's visiting your website or the person visiting your social media page. The only place that you actually own the experience that they go through as they're, they're trying to suss you out, as they're trying to explore whether you're a good option for them or not, the only place that you fully own that experience is a website. On, on social media, uh, Instagram, for example, who gets to dictate which, uh, what shows up first in uh, the top of the page to the bottom? Who gets to dictate what happens uh, when they click a button on your page? Who gets to dictate what, like, how long your profile can be? Like, you, Instagram dictates all those things. You can only have a certain amount of characters. You only get one link. You only have one profile photo. Your photos only show up in chronological order. So you don't really get to build an experience for that client. And the reason that matters is because of something that I call the cornerstone question. The cornerstone question is the question that every single client or every single potential client has in their head when they land on your site or when they're looking for someone that could ultimately serve their, their needs. So I'm gonna use an example of if I'm a singer songwriter here in Nashville, Tennessee, which is where I live, and I'm looking for someone to produce my music that I feel so strongly is the next big thing. I'm the next Taylor Swift. I'm the next, I don't know, I don't know who's big anymore in the singer songwriter world, but you get the gist. I'm looking for someone that can serve me. And so I go look up somebody that I've been referred to. Let's actually use the referral example. I get all my, you get all your clients via word of mouth. Someone has referred me, the next Taylor Swift, to you. And I look you up on the internet and all I find is your Instagram profile. What do I do? I click on that profile and I look at a few things. You have a little bit of information. You have photos of your cats. You have photos of your kids. You have photos of your studio. You have photos of your vacation that you went on. And I leave because I don't get the cornerstone question answered. And that cornerstone question is this. Can you give me what I want or what I think I want at least? Can you give me what I want? And if you can't answer that in a relatively short amount of time, you've lost me. And this is the shortcoming of using only social media or relying on a Facebook page or relying on some other platform that doesn't have your best interests at heart. Think about Facebook and Instagram's main motivations. Their main motivation is to keep people glued to their phones as long as possible so they can serve up as many ads as possible to that person. That's their main motivation because they have to increase the price of their shares on the stock market. It's their duty to make their stock price as high as possible to the shareholders. That's literally what they have to do legally uh, when it comes to their business. And so and none of that is it worried about you getting a client on social media for your business. That's not in their best interests. Think about uh, Fiverr or SoundBetter or Air Gigs. Their best interest is just to the person on the page getting someone hired. They don't care if it's you or your competitor down the road. They're gonna show you, or they're gonna show that person your competitor's profile. They're gonna say also, uh, the person who worked with this person, you may be interested in these other five producers. They're not gonna worry about you specifically. No one has your best interest at heart. And they're not gonna answer that cornerstone question for the client. A website, however, can do that. And the reason is because you fully own the experience that person is going through on your website. You get to determine what shows up first on your website, what shows up second. You get to show, you get to determine what order your songs are in your portfolio. You get to determine what sort of portfolio player you have on your site. You get to determine what sort of contact forms and what contact methods they can contact you, whether it's live chat, whether it's a contact form uh, to send a message, whether it's uh, a phone number where they can call you or a Calendly booking link where they can actually book a calendar or book a call with you on their calendar. You have full control over the experience of what they learn about you, how you exp express your, di your differentiating factors, what sets you apart from your competitors. You get to put all of these things in a very specific order and you get to tell them all about the journey that they can experience by hiring you for whatever it is they need. So now me, the next Taylor Swift with my solo singer songwriter career here in Nashville, Tennessee, when I land on a website that you have crafted, you've taken the time to build an experience that explains why you're the right person for me, I am, I'm sold. 
I go to your website and it just speaks to me. It speaks to my heart. It speaks to my soul. It speaks to me, the analytical mind and the creative mind, because all the things in your site are, are built in a specific journey that answers that question, that cornerstone question, are you the right person for me? You're not distracting me with other things in the algorithm like social media where there's different posts that could always, there's something always drawing my eye to something else. No, you build a very, uh, very good experience from top to bottom that ultimately gets me to contact you, to start the conversation forward, to get a price from you, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You don't have any of this control on social media, but you have it on a website. And that is why a website is absolutely crucial. So what if you already have a website? Maybe you have a website and it's not really getting any people contacting you. You have no quote requests. No one's really contacting you. It seems pretty pointless to you. Well, think about this. I want to push back because I see this all the time. People that use social media as a primary way of generating conversations and getting clients, they don't really keep track of how many people go from their social profiles to their actual website or how many people Google their name or Google their studio name and ultimately land on their profile or their website and look through all of your website, listen to your portfolio, look at the photos of your studio. They don't really understand how many people go to your site and your, your website actually affects their decision of hiring you or not. And so if they find a good website, they may be convinced from your website, but they ultimately come back to social media to contact you. I see that time and time again. People don't understand how much the website plays in the ultimate sales experience for that person. On the flip side, if you have a social media account, or you have word of mouth advertisement out there, people finding out about your studio through word of mouth or finding out about your studio through social media, but you don't have a website for them to look further into what you do, you're missing out on clients. People are Googling your name. They're trying to find more about you and you don't have a good experience set up top to bottom to explain everything there is to know about you and your studio and what you offer and how you sound and what you do for your clients. There's, there's no experience built for them. You're missing out on clients right now, all day, every day. And the worst part about that is you have no idea it is happening. And that is why I want you to build a website in the next few days, if you can, or in the next week at the most, build a website. And if you need help with this, I actually built a full three-day challenge where I can actually walk you through all the steps you need to build a site from planning to copywriting to actually putting all the things together and making it look right. If you need help, you want help with this, just go to easyfunnels.io slash challenge. And it's going to walk you through all the planning, basically coming up with your own website blueprint, all of the copywriting, basically writing all of the words for your website. Because again, the content is what's going to convince them that you are the right person for them. And then day three is all about taking that plan that you've built, all the copy you've built, all the media you've gathered for this, and then actually putting it into a website that looks and feels great and allows people to ultimately answer that cornerstone question, which was, can you give me what I, the customer, can you give me what I want? And if you can't answer that quickly, you're losing customers every single day. So if you want access to that three-day challenge, just go to easyfunnels.io slash challenge, and you can sign up for that three-day challenge. Again, that is easyfunnels.io slash challenge. Sign up for that today and get started as soon as you can on getting your website built so that people can then go through the experience that you've built for them specially so that they know that you are the right fit for their needs.